Saturday night. Both one of the most mafana and also heartbreaking moments of my entire life. And I do wholeheartedly believe that the ref and the entire referee staff got it wrong. From the very beginning, I mean, I have a video of the um, playback of when Fifita actually held up the ball um, and then England was awarded the try anyways. So there were a lot of mistakes from every level. And of course, I'm still upset. I mean, you would too if you were part of the nation that was supporting this team that nobody had believed in from the very beginning. Um, so I understand why my people are upset. Um, and you can call us sore losers or whatever, but it wasn't losing that caused this. It was how we lost because it seemed that none of the refs or management gave a damn about us um, or gave a damn about following the rules and doing the jobs. And I would even say that racism was definitely at work. I mean, you only had to look at the field after the match and the pure number of cops was just ridiculous. It looks like half of Auckland's cops um, were on the field. And I mean, Answer me this, New Zealand police. Why? What sort of threat or criminal behaviour had we established previously to warrant such a significant number of you watching us all as if we were already guilty of something? I mean, don't bring up all those so-called arrests that happened previously in Otahuhu because I was there and so were many of my friends and my family members and we did not see that many people getting arrested. Sure, we saw a couple, but they were individuals. And yet there would always be about five to seven cops taking away this one person who by that stage knew that they were being arrested and they were fully cooperative. So I'm a bit iffy about that. Everyone else who were there, they were busy waving the flags singing Tongan songs and dancing to be doing anything that was considered arrest worthy. Um, and yet you and the media make it out to seem as if all Tongans were to blame. And don't even get me started on the media because your reporters were all white. Yeah, I said it, they were all white. So of course they don't wanna interact with us properly and come up to us and ask us, you know, what was going on? Like, the way that you guys are expressing yourselves, what does that actually mean to you? Um, none of that happened. So, yep. Uh, the way that I saw you guys talking, not to, but at my people, has made me very wary of trusting you. Like, obviously you guys have a job, and I completely respect that, but just some of the behavior that your police exhibited. Dang, I mean, we're all human beings, so we should be treated the same, like, in the same way. But there were a good portion of you who were condescending, disrespectful, used more force than necessary, which was blatantly going beyond your exercisable powers. Um, and what made it even worse was seeing fellow Brown brothers who just stood by, let it happen. Um, so yeah, we weren't there to start trouble. We were there to love and support our boys um, because we've been doing that since the beginning. Again, no one believed in us. From the day that the teams were announced, um, the media, other players, coaching staff were quick to, um, quick to call us traitors, defectors, and then other Tongans, um, people were called monkeys and a couple of people said that we should all be put on a boat back to our country. Ooh, okay. Uh, so we've been fighting back by coming together as a Tongan nation and keeping our cultural values and traditions at the forefront 
And just because you don't understand it doesn't mean you should be afraid. Um, if anything, this is when you should be asking questions so that you get the right answers. Silence only serves to perpetuate you know, these racist stereotypes and continue the status quo. And I am so done with it because it has only continued to oppress our bus figure people. So if you're sick of seeing my posts or think I'm too radical, uh, then please do us both a favor, unfollow and unfriend me because I'm not done learning about these kinds of things. And so obviously there's more for me to share. Um, and especially to those of you who are Tongans themselves, I'm disappointed that you're telling us all to be quiet or, you know, that we're causing too much of a fuss. You know, silence and us not causing a fuss is why we are in the situation that we are. And change has never happened by continuing to stay in the same place and continuing to take it. Um, so I'm disappointed in you guys, and I know that some of you I'm family with, so I hope you take this on board, and if you continue to disagree with me, again, unfollow and unfriend me, we'll still be related, so it's all good. Um, but on a positive note, you know, despite all of this, uh, this entire World Cup experience, so grateful for it. I've been able to express so much of my Tongan identity and in the past few weeks I've been able to do that alongside my fellow Tongans. I've seen friends and family that I haven't for a while um, and of course I've discovered new family because like Tongan life that's just what happens and I will be able to tell my kids and my grandkids that I was there when MMT made history and not only did we make it to the quarterfinals but we made it to the semis and I will always remember that game as the game that we won um, yeah <laughs> and to our MMT boys man damn you guys have made a nation proud so un unbelievably proud like I cried yeah that happened and I've cried a couple of times since and that's fine like Dare I say you guys have made the entire Basfika community proud. You've shown the entire world that a nation of people, that a nation people don't think of as being, you know, on the same level uh, as top tier nations can play the game just as well. Heck, even better. <laughs> you boys, um, you just represented us heart and soul with everything that you had and hopefully we were able to support you with everything that we had um, and we couldn't have asked for anything more and we don't um, we celebrate what you boys have achieved and that you have kept our Tongan families and culture at the forefront always because that's such a big part of who we are as a nation and at the end of the day like the world might have said that we lost but we won a lot more than um, you know just a game or just a match um, and this is going to continue on into the future and I really think it's going to have some amazingly positive um, effects so that's my spiel on the game on Saturday and what's been going on and that's it. Afalahiatu.